In February 2022, one of my houses burned down. We do not live in this house, but it was intended as our new house after the children moved out. The cause cannot be determined so we don't know what happened. The only thing I know at this point is that I have to start over. I built the previous house all by myself and intend to do it this time as well. As I build the house myself step by step, you as a viewer will get a unique insight into how a house is built from the ground up. I have over 25 years of experience as a carpenter and if you are new, you can see this as a small course in house building. We in the north build a little differently as we have to think about all seasons, but basically all modern wooden houses look the same. Before we begin with the foundation, we need to sanitize the area. According to environmental regulations, we must separate biological materials from metal and hazardous substances. As a quick fix, I bought a used caravan that I can sleep in while I'm here. The caravan is from the 80s but I have renovated it and made it more modern. I tore out all the furnishings and repainted everything. I also need my little excavator that can help with simpler tasks. This 5-ton excavator is not mine, I rented it for 3 days. It will take me 10 minutes to get used to it, then it's like an extension of my arms. It is not difficult to operate an excavator. They are built in a way that makes the movements very natural. My plan is to dig down about 1.7 meters, so that half the house has a basement. That will be around 70 cubic meters of soil. Thank you. 
With the non-existing crew monitoring the day cut, Jan checks the progress in the cut. We're having a hard time to figure out what to take and not to take. We are just making sure to take as much gold as possible from the ground. Jan's usual mining method involves removing a layer of mud or overpill to reveal the gold gravel or pay dirt beneath. But now he is punting the next layer, the bed rock. To see if it's worth trying to lose gold from this more solid material. I have hit bedrock and it is exactly 1.7 meters down, looks like we can do it. We have to crack some stones, but we can do it ourselves. My small excavator is in place, and it's time to crack rocks, just like we did in the happy 1930s. These are stone wedges, a cheap alternative to expansion concrete or explosives. If the width and length have the same dimensions, you can cross measure to get an exact square. I will dig down to the bedrock here as well. Now we have dug down to the bedrock around the foundation.
I will lay two different kinds of gravel. Fine gravel that I pack against the rock and then bigger gravel for the foundation. It's not the biggest packer, but we work directly against bedrock. Before we apply the next layer of gravel, we will break the layers with a geo cloth. The fabric has several functions, one of the most important being to prevent soil from mixing with the gravel. If we get water under the house, the water should be able to pass the gravel instead of going up. Before any moisture has a chance to get under the house, we will lay drainage hose all around the foundation. But we will do that later. I'm not putting any geo cloth in the basement right now as I'll be casting a slab down here later. I have to dig out for insulation and crack the remaining rocks first. Before we cast the slab, we have to calculate the height of the stone so that it is at the same height with the slab higher up, we have to be very accurate, otherwise it will be difficult. I use old timber from the fire and cast half the foundation at a time, so I do not have to buy more. Buying timber in 2022 is three times as expensive as usual.
Each step corresponds to a brick in height, so that we end up exactly in level when we reach the top. When building walls, you usually start with the corners, and they take a little longer as you have to be exact.
Each bricklayer has two rebar in the mortar, as we will fill the outside with soil that presses against the wall. The basement walls are built with thick stones that are 25 centimeters in width. The first three layers on the long side are 19 centimeters wide, but I will cast 6 centimeters concrete in front of the wall later so that it will also be 25 centimeters thick. Why? Well it's 2022, and 25 centimeters stone is completely sold out at the hardware store, so we have to improvise. Last time I was here I cast 6 cm extra concrete to make the wall 25 cm thick, as I mentioned earlier.
You did it? I, oh, I mean, good job. I can't say I believed in you the whole time, but I did.